Alrighty. Uh, yeah, part part four of Day of the Tentacle Remaster. <laughs> so yeah, let's we'll just get into it. Uh, we're here. Okay, so we have all the stuff we want, I think. Uh, did we call, um, call her? I think, wait, no, I mean, did we call the, uh, the bank? Or, oh, wait, no, I think it didn't work. I left my little black book at home. Yeah, it didn't even work, so, for some reason, so, you know what, we're just gonna put this over on. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner, getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Oh, boy, this is... Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. So this is like some sort of dystopia? Okay, my cards. Hey, they can cheat, you can't. Yeah, talk to Dr. Them. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Zed. I've never heard Zed or Zed. That's nice to meet you. Names. It's a little loud, so. Hold on. I can fix that. Where am I? It's still so loud. Whatever, it's fine. It is fine. Okay. You're in the ancestral home of the- You know what? It's mostly just the voices. Yeah, sorry, this is kind of wasting time. That's good enough. Once proud Edison yeah, okay, good. family, we were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... Human. Human. <laughs> you who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? This is a violation of my rights. Rights? You're a human. You don't have any rights. Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Indeed. All right, now hold still. 
Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Do you really think of us as pets here? Okay, I'll ask what this tentacle chart is and how it fits in my pants. But yeah, the um, sweater, because of how many pores Bernard Ooh, put in, cute. it's been in that long, and it's shrunk for 200 years, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's like, I really don't even need that yet, and there isn't even that much for me to do, so. Hey, how'd you get out? Get back in there! I wish Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. Yes, that would indeed make things a heck of a lot. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Oh, no, not that one. I'll skip. Because I don't actually want to not feel so good. I'm gonna go back to that kennel. Let's oh, skip all this. Hey, how'd you get? No, I wanted to tell him. Don't escape again. I want to tell him. You guys. who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, ah, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Well, we didn't even think. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Okay, now I can give stuff to people. Okay, I'll give Hoagie okay, that and Bernard that. Then I can give Bernard some stuff as well. Those, yeah. Okay, yeah. And this. This. I think that's it. Oh, and this. About time. Okay, now I'm gonna be holy. Uh, go back to the house. 
house. Stairs. Then put the tentacle pattern. The other patterns. Why is the tentacle use the same flag? It could make more sense if they use that flag from the get go. Oh, and also, oh, that, and also, no, no, and use a uh, rubber and scalpel. Uzo the clown. Got this box of laughs. And then I can't give it to Laverne yet, can I? Can I? Okay, so, uh, I should have done that earlier. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Indeed. Yes, again would be a good word to describe the situation. Into the chimney we go. There never seems to be a fire in the fireplace. Oh, you know I can use the crank. The crank box. Frank. And then I can pick up the flower. Which I can then use. And now I look like a tentacle. Except no, I don't actually look like a tentacle, but for some reason everyone thinks that I look like a tentacle. I don't need the crank anymore. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrants will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. Also, now Bernard can give me the, the, the box of glass. I wasn't able to do before because <laughs> stupid tentacle. I wouldn't have been able to do that before because the mustache with, with the net would have just. Hmm. Looks like there's some kind of rodent down Maybe there. Go back to the kennel. Yeah, rodent hamster. Because it's been there since Bernard's time. Oh, I'm gonna go. Up the ice cube but first. Over time, the wine turns into vinegar. I 
I don't think I can put it back the way it was. Now I can put the inventor to Hoji, which is another ingredient for the super battery. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. Oh wait, no, I don't actually want to go outside, I want to go through the clock and stuff. No, that is not what I want to do. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. He chainsaws it just back then. Maybe. Modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. What do they keep mentioning Baltimore? Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Okay, now I can go to Ben Franklin. No, 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 I didn't mean to go in. For another brush with destiny? Sure, why not? Splendid! Interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. Yeah. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. Okay, that's my very choice of battery now. Yeah, I'm 
Forgot to give Laverne the uh, big barf. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick. Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Errol, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. Reject. What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> hey, anybody care for a bribe? What do you think we are, human? Ha ha ha! Human. <laughs> I can't. It's behind the glass. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. Okay, well, that worked. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right.
I like the quiet one with the big T. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Okay. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best left? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy, are my suction cups tired. <laughs> <laughs> A classic. Pop, pop, pop. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. Mm -hmm. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Baltimore again. Yes, our work here is done. Right, we're gonna be finished soon. So I gotta go. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Can I just warm up the hamster and then we're going to be done? Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. Ready. We get them. This ought to warm him up. Uh, yep. Bye, guys. Come back for part five.